All right, guys, welcome back to Cold Pizza Watch Reviews. Today I'm talking about Joma Shop. Are they legit and where do they get their watches? Well, to answer the first question, yes, they're legit. I bought a ton of watches from them. I've had no problems. Where they get them, we'll get to in just a minute. But Joma Shop's located in Brooklyn, New York. They've been there since 1999. Their specialties are fashion accessories, handbags, sunglasses, shoes, cologne, perfume, that kind of stuff. And they're a major player in that market. I think their annual revenue right now is 57 million. So they got a lot of pull in that industry. They're a gray market dealer, which is which basically means you're not getting the manufacturer's warranty. A lot of times you may be missing manuals and warranty cards as well, but you're usually going to get Joma Shop's warranty. So let's get that out of the way. You're getting legit products, but you're getting Joma Shop's warranty. Now, how are they getting all these watches? Well, I'll give you the first way. We'll take two watch brands, Certina and Mito. Those are brands primarily sold in Europe and in Latin America. When they've got overstock they got last year's products that they got to get moving. They can send them over to Joma Shop, sell them in the U.S., and that way they can sell them at a discount here and not upset their markets that they normally dominate. So because Mito and Certina aren't normally sold here, Joma, Joma Shop can sell it at a discount in the U.S., then the Latin American and European markets are fine. Those, the, selling that discount doesn't affect those markets. That's one way. Second way is through the ADs themselves. For the ADs to maintain their status with some of these brands like Tag Heuer, Breitling, um, uh, Rado, Hamilton, they've got to meet a quota. And if they don't meet that quota, these brands are going to start pulling them off the shelf. So what these ADs do is they ship any extra over to Joma Shop basically at their cost. So the AD's not losing anything. They're meeting their sales goal. Joma Shop gets it, but they're not able to register the warranty card. So if Joma Shop receives a bunch of, of Breitling Navitimers from an AD with warranty cards in there, they can't do anything with it. They can't register that because they're not the AD. They'll give you the Joma Shop warranty, but you can't get the manufacturer's warranty. And then lastly, they're getting these just directly from the manufacturer, overstock, promotional items, returns, things that go back to the manufacturer that they've got to dump, they'll dump them on Joma Shop. So that's how they're getting their watches. The key thing you have to look at is you're losing the manufacturer's warranty and you're gaining that discount. It's good on some watches, but it makes me nervous on others when you start getting in that three to four five thousand dollar range. So take, for example, Omega. I recently looked at the Omega Aquaterra. I go to the boutique. They want $6,300 for the Omega Aquaterra at the boutique. The authorized dealer negotiate with them. They come down to $5,700. Joma Shops got it right under $5,000. So it's $700 worth having the manufacturer's warranty. That's what you have to decide to yourself. Should I spend the more money at the AD? Should I take the discount and go with Joma Shop? I'm on the fence. Me personally, I think 700 is worth it to go ahead and get it from the AD. That's just where I stand because I've got the AD as the, the, the person that can ship the watch back, can take care of any, any warranty issues. And typically, I know my AD here for Omega, which I'm just using for an example, their watchmaker is also an Omega trained watchmaker. So there's some benefits to that. So that's what you're losing is you're basically losing that manufacturer's warranty and that's where the discount comes from. Now, funny thing is about Joma Shop, you go look at Rolex on their website, on Joma Shop's website, none of those watches come with a Rolex warranty. It's Joma Shop's two year warranty. Not that they're selling these Rolexes at a discount, but that I find interesting. Why can't Joma Shop offer you their warranty? I bought my Rolex from the watch box. It was a 2021. It came with the, the warranty card, and I still have the manufacturer's warranty. 
So I think you need to ask the questions, especially when you start getting up into the luxury watches at Joma Shop. If you're buying a Hamilton, you're buying a Seiko, you're buying these sub $1,000 watches, what's the big deal? You know, you're not really out anything, but you're looking at Tag, you're looking at Breitling, um, you're looking at some of these, these more expensive watches, Tudor, same with Tudor. It doesn't say you're getting the Tudor warranty, it says you're getting the Joma Shop warranty. So is saving four or 500 bucks on a Black Bay worth not getting the Tudor warranty? Not for me, I don't think it is. I would go to the AD. So those are things you gotta ask yourself. That's how they're able to sell them cheap. I love Joma Shop. It's one of the places I go probably every day. I've got some really good deals on watches there, but think about the warranty. And Joma Shop's very responsive to your questions. Post the question, ask them, what's the warranty? Is the warranty card included? Am I getting the original box? Because it would suck that you order an Omega Aquaterra and it shows up in a plain white box and you don't even have the original Omega box. Then you start thinking, hey, I really didn't gain anything here by saving 700 bucks. That would be my question. If I was going to pull the trigger on the Aquaterra, I'm like, is this going to come in the original Omega box at least? So those are things you got to figure out. Let me know. Have you bought a luxury watch from Joma Shop? I'm seeing over four or $5,000. How? What was your experience? Again, everything I've gotten was under 1000 but I'd love to hear it. And again, as always, I appreciate you tuning in to Cold Pizza Watch Reviews.